Unmasking the Antichrist. How Babylon's deception is stealing our faith. Mystic World. A new emerging religion is dangerous, and the Bible speaks of a prophecy in the book of Revelation. This book mentions a religion that will dominate in the last days. How will this religion dominate, and who will promote it? To find these answers, watch this video to the end. How is the religion of Babylon defined according to the Bible? This religion is called the religion of Babylon and is mentioned in the book of Revelation. John wrote the book of Revelation, but it differs from his gospel and his three letters. This is because the book of Revelation was uniquely given to John. God the Father gave it to Jesus, who in turn gave it to an angel. The angel then passed it to John, who wrote it so that all the churches would know how this religion affects them. To understand how this religion affects you, watch this video to the end. No other book in the Bible emerged in such a complex way. John wrote what he saw and heard, and sometimes what he saw was so extraordinary that the angel had to remind him eleven times to write everything down. During his visions, John was taken to heaven, where he heard various voices and a choir singing, and he had to make sure to write all these things. Revelation is an incredible book with a clear theme, the return of our Lord Jesus Christ to earth. This event is predicted 38 times in the Bible, making it the most frequently mentioned prediction. The book of Revelation covers the events that occur before, during, and after the return of the Lord Jesus. The leaders are intoxicated with the strange woman in the book of Revelation, the evil entity of Babylon. An angel invites John to witness the judgment of this evil woman. Revelation 17-1-2 states, Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who is seated on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed acts of sexual immorality, and those who live on the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her sexual immorality. From the beginning, her judgment is unquestionable. There was never any doubt about Babylon's ultimate fate and failure. Babylon emerged as a religious system long before Christianity, but in satanic imitation anticipated the coming of the true Messiah. We read that she sits on many waters, meaning her dominion extends over various nations. Her character is such that it can be understood on a global level, making her an international figure. The Babylonian religion has a hypnotizing effect on both people and rulers. Karl Marx once stated that religion is the opium of the masses, and in a sense, he was right. Empty religion, which has no real meaning, can be as addictive as a drug. We read about being drunk with the wine of her fornication. Throughout the Bible, the concept of fornication is often strongly associated with acts of idolatry. It is possible that this religious system seems spiritually attractive, although not necessarily moral. How is the name Babylon represented as a religion in the Bible? The city of Babylon is mentioned in the Bible 287 times and is the second most mentioned city after Jerusalem. The city was located on the banks of the Euphrates River and was considered the cradle of civilization, expressing organized hostility to God, according to Genesis 11.1, shortly after the flood. Later, Babylon became the capital of the empire and ruthlessly conquered Judah. During this time, Judah was under its control. For the people of God, Babylon represented all evil. It was the incarnation of cruelty, lust, and greed, and was considered the enemy of the people of God. Those familiar with the Old Testament will be aware that the word Babylon is linked to organized forms of worship and blasphemy, as well as to the oppression of the people of God. The concept of Babylon has existed long before the events described in Revelation 17 and 18, or the reign of the Antichrist. 
Babylon represents the world system and has been present throughout history from the time of John, when Rome represented it, to the present day. However, during the reign of the Antichrist, Babylon, in its religious and commercial aspects, will exert an unprecedented influence over the world. The religious Babylon is described in part one. What is the emerging religion? This Babylon originates from the book of Revelation. This representation depicts a figure described as Babylon the Great, which represents a powerful and corrupt entity that leads people away from God through deceitful practices. The term Babylon has significant biblical implications. In the Bible, it represents religious infidelity and corruption. To fully understand the significance of this term, we must delve into both the biblical text and the historical events related to Babylon. This term is used to represent a false religious system that lures people away from the true worship of God. It embodies spiritual adultery and moral decay. Here, Babylon is portrayed as a prostitute engaging in illicit relations with the kings of the earth, highlighting the corruption and moral decline of societies entangled in false religions. Babylon as the world system has always been present since the time of John, when Rome exemplified it up to the present day and throughout history. However, during the reign of the Antichrist, Babylon, in its religious and commercial forms, will exert an influence over the world like never before. We want to take a brief pause to encourage you to share your experience, your opinions, or any ask in the comments. Tell us your story and how stories and rules in Bible acted in your life. We highly appreciate any things you share. Babylon is also the name of a woman symbolizing evil. The religious Babylon is described in Revelation 17, 3, 6. Then he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was clothed in purple and scarlet adorned with gold, precious stones and pearls, holding a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her fornication. On her forehead was written a name, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. When I saw her, I marveled with great amazement. We read, He carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. John is taken to a wilderness, the arid nature of which provides a suitable backdrop for a vision of judgment. We read, Sitting on a scarlet beast. This beast, depicted in Revelation 13, 1 as having seven heads and ten horns, is symbolic of the Antichrist and the government he will establish. The prostitute rides the same beast mentioned in Revelation 13-1. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads a blasphemous name. The Antichrist, the first of the beasts, is a monstrosity that has ten horns and seven heads, and a dragon grants it power and authority. One of the heads is mortally wounded but is healed. The beast utters blasphemies against God and aggressively oppresses the people of God wherever they are found on earth. It not only rules the world but also receives the worship of its inhabitants. The first beast is a symbolic image of the Antichrist, and the dragon is Satan. Note that anti in Greek means instead of, not against, signifying a substitute rather than a competitor. The man of iniquity has characteristics similar to those of other fearsome beasts like leopards, bears, and lions. He appears to be from a federation of political rulers who have captured the world's attention through a remarkable recovery from a mortal wound, likely in an assassination attempt. The number 666 is the coded name of the dictator. The woman is dressed in emblems of governance scarlet and emblems of wealth purple gold and precious stones. 
Despite this, she engages in idolatry, abominations, as well as impurity, the filth of her adultery amidst this luxurious setting. She was dressed in purple and scarlet. The dyes necessary to manufacture fabrics in purple and scarlet colors were hard to obtain and expensive. These colors were associated with splendor and magnificence. Mystery Babylon the Great does not refer to the physical city of Babylon, but rather to the secretive spiritual representation of Babylon, which is the source of all forms of spiritual adultery and idolatry. This prostitute must encompass more territory than a single department of a religious organization. She personifies Satan's own movement, which can be described as the religion of the global order. Our world is poised to be seduced by the prostitute because it is built on the strong notion that it doesn't matter what you believe as long as you believe in something. We read, drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. The woman not only persecutes, but also delights in the fact that she is persecuting the righteous, much like a person intoxicated with alcohol delights in the drink. It is imperative that we do not lose sight of the fact that some of the most heinous atrocities committed against genuine Christians were carried out in the name of the church. Between the years 1555 and 1558, under the reign of Queen Mary, also known as Bloody Mary in England, about 288 Christians who stood up for the truth of the Christian religion were executed, being burned at the stake. Revelation 17, 12, 12 15 states, The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority as kings for one hour along with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength to the beast. These will make war with the lamb and the lamb will overcome them for he is Lord of lords and king of kings and those who are with him are called, chosen and faithful. And he said to me, The waters which you saw where the prostitute sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. This probably alludes to a confederation of ten nations. Whatever their exact identity, their actions are evident. This strange figure rules over all peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages of the world. This demonstrates that the impact of the prostitute can be felt worldwide as a result of her relationship with the beast. This will be a true global religion. The significance of the prostitute is centered on her connection with the beast, that is, how she is completely intertwined with the beast and the government he leads. The great prostitute is judged. The allies of the Antichrist will turn against the great prostitute. Revelation 17 to 16 states, And the ten horns which you saw, and the beast, these will hate the harlot, make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. We read, These will hate the harlot, make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. In the end, the Antichrist will not tolerate any form of worship other than that directed toward himself, the son of perdition, who exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Revelation 17.17 17 states, for God has put in their hearts to fulfill his purpose, to be of one mind, and to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. We read, God has put in their hearts. The judgment that was sent against the religious Babylon was ordained by God. Sometimes God will use a wicked group in this case. The ten kings as an instrument of his judgment against another wicked group. A godless government in Babylon. In this case, the religious Babylon is frequently mentioned in the Bible. The political support that these ten rulers will provide to the Antichrist is ordained by God. The world will receive exactly what it asks for, a religion without God and a government without God.
Revelation 17, 18 states, And the woman which you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. It is said that Rome is the great city in this metaphor. In John's days, there was no room for debate about which city ruled over the rulers of the planet. During that era, Rome served as the political, economic, and religious focal point of the entire world. However, Babylon, in the sense of the global order, has always been this great metropolis that rules over the rulers of the globe. This has been the case since the dawn of time. For Christians, the question that needs to be asked is, does it reign over me or am I a resident of a greater city? But Babylon is doomed, it and its rulers will fall. Their days are numbered. The incredible way in which this is accomplished is absolutely plausible in today's environment. Ambitious politicians hungry for power resent this financial power. They are even prepared to provoke an economic disaster if it allows them to take control. The kings will be jealous of the woman who rides them and will resolve to destroy her. The city will be consumed in flames. It will be the worst economic disaster in world history. Many will weep and lament over the ruins. The disaster will have been caused by God, not by any physical action. He will have instilled in their hearts the desire to fulfill his mission. He will have persuaded them to unite with the beast to fight the city. The Antichrist will have political authority and the false prophet religious control. The kings will now offer economic control in exchange for delegated powers to themselves, but the possession of such privileges will be extremely short only an hour. The fall of Babylon is so certain that it is portrayed in Revelation as if it had already occurred. This is something Christians can be sure of. However, there are practical reasons for informing them. If the mystical stories have amazed you, leave your opinion about the video topic in the comments. Don't forget click follow and subscribe this channel to see more interesting videos. Together we will build a community of understanding and contemplation of many wonder things. How should Christians understand Babylon? What is the connection between the people of God and this final Babylon? There are three rules to follow. First, there will be many martyrs in the city, which is drunk with the blood of the saints, the blood of those who bore witness to Jesus. This last phrase indicates again the presence of Christians and occurs throughout Revelation. In a city devoted to immorality, pious people have no place, as a conscience is something the community does not desire. Second, Christians are instructed to Come out of her, my people, so that you do not share in her sins, and so that you do not receive any of her plagues. For her sins have piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Revelation 18, 4-5 This emerging religion attracts those seeking a more universal and unified spiritual path, emphasizing similarities between different beliefs and promoting the idea of a global religion that can unite people. However, this approach also raises concerns about the dilution of traditional religious values and the potential for spiritual confusion, spiritual infidelity, and corruption. The Bible warns against the dangers of spiritual infidelity and corruption. The description of Babylon serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of straying from true worship. In the Bible, Babylon represents a society that has turned away from God. This verse reveals the widespread influence of false religion and its impact on nations and societies. This Babylon is a representation of how idolatry and immorality can permeate all aspects of life, leading to spiritual and moral decay. As believers, we are called to discernment and devotion, remaining faithful to the teachings of the Bible and resisting the allure of false religions. By doing so, we can maintain the purity of our faith and avoid the moral and spiritual decay represented by Babylon. Why is Babylon dangerous from a biblical perspective? Why is Babylon dangerous from a biblical perspective? The emerging religion is considered dangerous because it can lead believers away from the truth of the gospel. 
The promotion of individual beliefs and a mixture of doctrines can create spiritual confusion, making it difficult for individuals to discern the true teachings of Christianity. The Apostle Paul warned about being led astray by false teachings in Galatians 1, 6, 7, Amplified Bible. I am astonished and extremely irritated that you are so quickly shifting away from him who called you by the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not really another. Only there are some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ, turning it into something that it is definitely not. This passage highlights the danger of being influenced by teachings that deviate from the true gospel and encourage practices contrary to biblical teachings on holiness and worship. The syncretic nature of the emerging religion can introduce practices that are not aligned with biblical teachings on holiness and proper worship. The Bible calls the faithful to distinguish themselves and to worship God in spirit and truth. God is spirit, the source of life, though invisible to humanity, and those who worship him must do so in spirit and truth. John 4.24 Amplified Bible Introducing rituals and practices from other religions can lead to spiritual harm, as they may conflict with the principles of holiness and true worship that the Bible emphasizes. The emerging religion, with its emphasis on relativism, personal spiritual experiences and the incorporation of various religious rituals presents a significant departure from traditional biblical teachings. Its advocacy of global unity and peace often comes at the cost of doctrinal truth, leading to a pluralistic approach that undermines core Christian doctrines. From a biblical perspective, the emerging religion is considered dangerous because it can lead believers away from the truth of the gospel and encourage practices contrary to biblical teachings on holiness and worship. The Bible warns against being led astray by false teachings and emphasizes the importance of remaining faithful to the true gospel of Jesus Christ. As believers, it is crucial to discern the teachings we follow and ensure they are aligned with the Word of God. By standing firm in the truth of the Bible and rejecting practices that conflict with its teachings, we can maintain our fidelity to God and preserve the purity of our worship. In a world where new religious movements continue to emerge, we must hold firmly to the truth of the gospel and remain vigilant against teachings that seek to lead us astray. By doing so, we can protect our faith and continue to grow in our relationship with God based on the unchanging truth of His Word. The prophecies and warnings in the Bible address the emergence of false religions and the fall of corrupt systems like Babylon. These prophecies highlight the dangers of straying from true teachings and emphasize the importance of clinging to sound doctrine. By understanding these biblical prophecies and warnings, we can better navigate today's spiritual landscape. For a time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth. But wanting to have their ears tickled with something pleasing, they will accumulate for themselves many teachers, one after another, chosen to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold, and will turn their ears away from the truth and wander into man-made myths and fictions and accept the unacceptable. 2 Timothy 4.3.4 Amplified Bible this passage predicts a time when people will reject true teachings and seek doctrines that cater to their own desires, preferring to hear pleasing messages rather than the challenging truth of God's Word. This departure from sound doctrine in favor of myths and false teachings is a clear sign of the emergence of false religions. The rise of the new religion, with its emphasis on relativism and personal spiritual experiences, can be seen as a fulfillment of these biblical prophecies. The emerging religion's incorporation of diverse religious rituals and its marginalization of doctrinal truth align with predictions of people straying from sound doctrine. This new faith, which often prioritizes individual preferences over biblical teachings, reflects exactly the behaviors warned about in 2 Timothy 4.3.4. 4. 
the blending of parts of different religions into a mixed faith that focuses on global unity and peace rather than strict beliefs matches the warnings about the spread of false teachings. In this context, the emerging religion can be seen as part of the broader trend of spiritual deception and the erosion of absolute truth that the Bible anticipates. The prophet Jeremiah provides a stern warning about false prophets who lead people astray with their own ideas, saying, This is what the Lord of hosts says. Do not listen to the words of the false prophets who prophesy to you. They teach you worthless things and lead you into emptiness. They speak a vision from their own mind and imagination, not from the truth of the Lord's mouth. Jeremiah 23.16 warns against listening to prophets who present their own visions as divine revelation. These false prophets offer teachings that are ultimately worthless and lead people away from the true words of God. How do these warnings relate to our lives today? This warning is especially relevant in the context of the emerging religion which often incorporates human ideas and philosophies into its spiritual framework. The Apostle Peter also warns about the dangers of false teachers. But in those days, there arose false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will subtly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them, bringing swift destruction upon themselves. 2 Peter 2.1 this warning highlights the presence of false teachers who will introduce harmful doctrines to the point of denying Christ. These destructive heresies lead believers away from the truth and cause spiritual ruin. The tendency of the emerging religion to mix various beliefs and minimize Christian doctrines can be seen as part of this dangerous trend. Why do these warnings matter today? The prophecies and warnings found in the Bible are not just historical or theoretical concerns. They are highly relevant to the spiritual challenges we face today. By understanding these prophecies and heeding biblical warnings, we can better protect ourselves against the spiritual deception that threatens to lead the faithful away from the truth. Remaining faithful to sound doctrine in the face of these warnings is crucial for believers. The Apostle Paul in his letters repeatedly emphasizes the importance of clinging to the truth and not being influenced by false teachings. If anyone teaches a different doctrine and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and with the doctrine and teaching that are in accordance with godliness personal integrity, Upright conduct. He is conceited and woefully ignorant, understanding nothing. He has an unhealthy interest in controversies and disputes about words that result in envy, quarreling, verbal abuse, evil suspicions, and constant friction among men who are corrupt in mind and deprived of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of profit, a lucrative way to make money. Turn away from them. Per Timothy 6, 3-5, Amplified Bible. This passage emphasizes the need to adhere to the teachings of Jesus Christ and avoid those who promote different doctrines for selfish or misguided reasons. It demands a commitment to personal integrity and upright behavior grounded in the words of the Lord. Biblical prophecies about the rise of false religions and the fall of corrupt systems like Babylon serve as powerful reminders of the spiritual challenges we face. The emerging religion, with its emphasis on relativism, personal spiritual experiences, and syncretism, can be seen as fulfilling these prophecies. It represents a significant departure from sound doctrine, promoting teachings that cater to personal desires instead of the truth of God's word. The warnings from prophets like Jeremiah and Peter highlight the dangers of following false teachings and emphasize the need for vigilance and reliance on true biblical teachings. As believers, it is essential to remain anchored in the Bible, discerning truth from falsehood and clinging to the sound doctrine that leads to godliness and spiritual integrity. 
By understanding and applying these prophecies and warnings, we can navigate the complex spiritual landscape of today, remaining faithful to our faith and avoiding the pitfalls of false religions. It is important to be vigilant and firm in our commitment to the truth of God's Word, ensuring that we remain faithful to the teachings of Jesus Christ in the face of emerging deceitful and harmful doctrines. The emerging religion, with its emphasis on moral relativism and a flexible approach to spirituality, is having a significant impact on contemporary culture and society. This new religious movement encourages the acceptance of subjective truths and individual spiritual experiences over fixed doctrines. Various biblical prophecies foresee the emergence of false religions and the downfall of corrupt systems like Babylon. Revelation 18 and 2 and 2 Timothy 4, 3 T4 highlight the dangers of moving away from sound doctrine and embracing teachings that cater to personal desires. Warnings from prophets like Jeremiah and Peter caution against false prophets and teachers who introduce destructive heresies, leading the faithful away from the gospel. The Bible tells us to be vigilant, to test all teachings against the Word of God, and to firmly cling to the truth. This emerging religion, with its seductive appeal and promises of unity, can easily mislead the faithful if they are not solidly grounded in the Scriptures. Therefore, it is crucial for Christians to be aware of these influences and address them with biblical wisdom and clarity. In the face of these challenges, it is important to diligently study the Scriptures and seek guidance from the Holy Spirit to discern truth from error. The Bible is our supreme source of truth and wisdom, providing the foundation we need to navigate the complexities of the current spiritual landscape. All Scripture is God-breathed, given by divine inspiration, and is useful for instruction, for conviction of sin, for correction of error and restoration to obedience, for training in righteousness, learning to live in accordance with God's will, both publicly and privately, behaving honorably with personal integrity and moral courage, so that the man of God may be complete and proficient, well equipped for every good work, 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 Amplified Bible. This passage reminds us of the importance of the Scriptures in equipping us for every good work and helping us to live in accordance with God's will. As we immerse ourselves in the Bible, we can gain the wisdom and discernment needed to face the spiritual challenges posed by the emerging religion. If any of you lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he is to ask of our benevolent God, who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. James 1, 5, Amplified Bible. God promises to provide wisdom to those who seek it. Therefore, in our pursuit of truth and understanding, let us continually seek God's guidance through prayer and the study of his word. By doing so, we can stand firm in our faith and be safeguarded against the deceptions of false teachings. Understanding the characteristics, prophecies, and impact of the emerging religion is crucial for believers to remain rooted in biblical truth. Let us commit to studying the Bible diligently, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and holding firm to our faith so that we may discern truth from error and faithfully navigate the spiritual challenges of our time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If this content was valuable to you, please support me with your subscription so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Share this video with family and friends, give it a like, and leave your opinion in the comments. This helps the video reach more people. Together we can illuminate more minds and expand our understanding. Thank you for being here and may God bless you.